Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. I'm going to hide that part, which I don't need. Great, yeah. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, let me know how it's um, looking and sounding for you um, as well. Because uh, this is not heavily graphically intense, as you can tell. Uh, immensely stylish, but not, not graphically intense, but um, leaps and bounds beyond the frame rate of Mystery House, where something only changed from one static image to another. Um, this, this does have animation. Okay, so let me get my... There you go. All good. Yeah, I can switch between sources and everything. Fab. Okay, I'll just leave it on the menu screen for a sec. Um, I'll check in with how the stream's looking. Still looking good. Um, so that's really encouraging. Um, just be a sec and then we'll give it a go. Um, I think as I mentioned last time, I think there's only one... Um, one level code, like halfway through the game, I think it's eight levels. Um, so I can't, I can't really save my progress um, at all. I guess if I was using an emulator with save states, maybe I could, but that might be a bit. Um, that might be more than I can manage, to be honest. Um, where am I going? Oh, I'm going up here. This is where I'm going. Yeah, so by the way, uh, I'm just fiddling around behind the scenes and that, that isn't me playing, that's, that's the demo thing running by itself. Um, I guess I look pretty uh, inactive. Uh, if it was me. Um, oh, hang on, is it? I can actually do stuff. Is this the demo mode? Let's start properly. Um, so what I'm wondering is, it might be worth a try to take some of the pressure off. I guess it's not the intended experience. Uh, I could just see what happens with the two-player one, with just me going. Let's just give that a go. See how that. See how that looks. So I came to the conclusion, I think, last time that um, the number on the, oh, the far side is the number of times impulses will run through the system. I've got to try and remind myself exactly how this works now. Um, and then once that number hits zero, I believe that's, that's it, you haven't got any more resources to work with. So yeah, yeah. So this two-player setting, I'd have to worry about competing against um, another player for resources because God, these sparks are quick. Um, because they're they're inactive. So that's pretty. Uh, I guess it makes it takes the dimension out of it. Certainly. Um, I still got to get. Rid of all those sparks, those horrible sparks. Um, so let's get. Yeah, so I guess that means my opponent isn't going to stop me taking any of the. Oh, sparks! You're highly frustrating me. So, in terms of getting to the end of the level, I think you probably just have to get a certain score from sending impulses to the um, 
to the Android. I think that's what your goal is. Uh, I guess depending on how many impulses you've got left in your system. We'll, uh, we'll determine whether that's possible or not. That's what that's what I was trying to trying to um, articulate there. So this is like is this cheating? This might be cheating. It's quite an interesting way of working out what the mechanics are, I think. With a slightly low pressure environment. So there's for some reason there's no there's no more sparks coming out. So I wonder what the the um, condition is for generating those. I see I could get my opponent making fuses for me actually. Which is really interesting. So I think yeah, we'll get a spark come up as soon as I put all the fuses in. So I wonder if now I'm fully fused they'll keep generating or Ah, so I think I think the level ended because two sparks went in simultaneously. Um, when they when they spark when they go in, and then I just got the score for completing the level on top of whatever I'd gained up to that point. Interesting. Cool. So it's it's kind of helpful to work this stuff out. Um, I think. It's kind of limited resources here as well. Um, um, it's going to be okay. So I think if I'm doing this, I can probably. Oh, I've got to make paths for my opponents as well. Can I make paths for my opponents? I can't. Okay, so I can't utilize their paths, which is a real shame. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get a little bit of stuff going. So it's really tricky to actually get fuses made in the first place because you've got to go a few different ways to start with to get those active. So I don't lose points of sparks going that way, which is handy. If I don't use them quickly enough, they disappear. Go away, spark. So I kind of need to make more of the path this way. But, oh, there's... Oh, <laughs> so what I need to do now is make that. No, no, actually. No, that's, that's good. But how do I get it to go correct way? How does it know which way to go? It doesn't, does it? So it's only ever going to make those there. That's really interesting. Go away, Spark. This is a really tricky level. Um, so I'm kind of getting interesting. Go away, Sparks. So I think if I get another fuse, I'll be in dangerous sparks, but here we go. Spark! Ugh, they're really hard to catch up with. But that's got a good, great, great chance of getting to where it needs to go. So now if I just... St oh no, now I've got to do a bit more. Yeah, that was great. I love the, um, the rewards. No! Ah! The... No! Okay, I think we're okay. I love the reward sounds that you get when you successfully get an impulse in. Um, I'm completely failing to appreciate the, um, the cool animation that's going on with ah oh, cheeky sparks. They're so quick. With our Android, completely failing to uh, notice their amazing expressions as they gain consciousness. So I think what I need to do now is just catch these sparks if I can. 
and I've got a good chance of actually getting here. You know what, if we need to get two simultaneous ones to finish the level... Oh, no, okay. I did do it, interesting. Okay, so there's no, there's no sparks going on, which is really interesting. Okay, I don't know if what I'm doing will be enough. So I've made a system that seems to work. Get me points, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to finish the game. So that's really interesting. If the um, the oh no no that was not what I was trying to do. The um six uh oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, what? The um if the success. Terms for ah there we go great um, completing the game sure, are different in each level but it's not explicit what they are that's a really interesting thing so I need another I can grab a few from there go away spark. Oh, so that just goes back around in a loop and then disappears off again. So that, that kind of wasn't what I wanted. Interesting. I don't know how I'd get it to go where I want it to. This is a really tricky level. Oh, you... Cheeky sparks. So that's a really helpful thing. Let's see if I can grab another... So this is pretty a pretty challenging uh, puzzle environment, I think, because there's lots going on already. Um, without having um, an AI or an, another opponent um, in the game. So I mean, I, I don't know, what happened? To, what happened to that other? So only one of those impulses got through. Let me watch them again and see what happens. So it goes through the Y thing. Oh, interesting. So that one goes through there, but ah, so you can't you can't have it both ways. Okay, gotcha. So that, I think I'm going to put that one there, and this one this way, and use this one. So I think maybe what we need to do is... No! Very, very rude thing. Right, looking out for sparks. Right, I think this might work. I have no idea if I've got enough impulses left to get to the end of the stage, but let's try it. So this should put two in the bottom two. Uh, if I can get one of the, the other one as well? Because goodness knows how I do all three. Yeah, maybe the idea is you just get an impulse in all three. So I've only got two entry points, so I'd have to like change things up. Ah, now I know what the, the Y shaped bit is a divider. Um, I don't know how I get to it. How do I get to it? Maybe like that? No, not like that. How confusing. Um, that, like that, and like that. Oh no, that wasn't what I thought. Okay. 
Okay, so let's test. Let's try. So I think we've probably got to make a path everywhere, essentially. No, I don't go in there. Thank you. Great, so what we do need to, we do need to use the war. Oh. How did I get up there? I don't know, but it was good. So you need to use the Y thing to create two impulses out of one. Can I, can I go? Oh, I'll go to, yes, 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 that is exactly what I want to do. Thank you. So now I've got to create some more of these. Um, well, I mean, it's good to know, isn't it? So that's going to go that way. Through there. Oh. Mm, just disappear. Spark! Go away, Spark. Um, where are my imposters going? That one will go there. This one goes... But I think I actually want this one to go there. Yes. Oh. I lost. Okay, I think I've got a better idea of what's happening. I think. It's super tricky. It's, um, the music's tense and it's fighting against those just those sparks and against time because you've got a limited number of impulses should we give it one more go i think we can give it one more go i'll do it the same way i'll try the two player mode one player um so i think i know what i'm doing now and it does give me some handy uh, some handy bits and bobs to grab hold of Right, let's get up to there. Great. I think they're a bit more sluggish, the um, the sparks in this level. There's no need to be, it's only the first one, isn't it? Great, so it's not too hard to make the whole of the... Oh. These sparks. I think the fuses stay longer in these ones too. Spark. Go away, Spark. I'm clicking on you. Go away. You're very rude. Can we get another Spark there, aren't we? Yeah, go away. Um, so I need to make more, more better parts. No, no, no! Ah, oh, you son of a gun! I mean, this is this is just like me trying to wake up in the morning. I would, I would rather be in the dream time. Sparkles, go away. Okay, yeah, I think I've think I've aced it. So dream zone, level one, do it all. Yeah, so in the same the same from the same set of impulses um, going into the system you have to fill up all of the um, nodes, I suppose, where it arrives, contacts where it arrives. So kind of, okay, I've got an idea of what, what I need to achieve. This second level is so relatively so much more complex in terms of what you need to do that it's, um, it's quite extraordinary, really. Um, I can only imagine what the third level will be like. Great, so that gets that done. I'm gonna ignore fuses for now and just make paths, make paths everywhere that paths will be needed. Probably the wise thing to do. Yep. 
So I'm, I'm working on the right hand side of these piles at the moment. And then I'm going to go for the left. Um, and I think I'll just let all the fuses be sacrificed. I won't worry about the sparks right at the moment. Um, so I know I need to do the. It's really important to do the bit with. I can. Oh, of course. I can. I need. I need fuses to get to certain places, don't I? Ah, oh, I'm making a moment, but they disappear quickly. I think that's the only problem. Come on, I'm clicking on that spot. It doesn't give you a great. Ah. Uh, uh, great deal of leeway when you're trying to click on one. Uh, uh. Like I'm trying to click on that there, you see, and ground it profusely. No, go away, go away, go away. Okay. And then, so, uh, go away. You very cheeky things. I wanted to go up there. Uh. Can I go this way? Is that the way that I can go? can I go? How did I do it before? So the path creation isn't the ah there you go I do this now isn't the easiest thing to control it must be said um, because you try and indicate with your mouse and you don't get very far. So I I don't think I'm fast enough to get the way to that. Change that to that. Can I get there quicker? Can I get ready? To... Oh, I can. Probably. The, the spark is really winding me up on this side. Yes. Yeah, you go where you, you go wherever you need to, mate. So I, I think does that do it? Not quite. I need to go to one more bit of path. I think. I need to go to no. That bit. So I think now I can set it up correctly. So that will go there, and then on this side it will go. Yeah, yeah, that's the correct setup. But I need to really watch out for these sparks. So this will create sparks. Um, that creates sparks. I think I need to get one more fuse in, yeah. Okay, I think this might do it. Let's see. Watch out the sparks. So that should be a splitter that makes two impulses. So that'll go to the middle one and that'll go to the top one. Yeah, I think this should do it. Yes, great. Vision control. Let's see what happens next. Tap. Yes, we needed all three connections to light up at the same time. Great. Okay, I wonder what's going to happen now. Madness. Oh, oh wow. So there's there's components here I haven't seen before. Let's. Where's the eye? It's all out here. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be a. Oh, there's lots of dead ends. I don't like the look of the dead ends. They're kind of confusing me. So there's a clear path to make fuses, which is really helpful. There's another eye here. Oops. Can I go through that? I can't go through that uh, brass looking gate thing. So what? Oh, if I click on them. Oh! So. Is that what I need to do? I make them green? Does that open the pathway up? It does. Okay. Ah! Ah, so it's a gate that closes when a spark goes through it. Gotcha.
So there's... Interesting, there's like a, an extra conduit that, um, that's in the middle. I don't know if that makes any difference to anything. Um, how do I get to where I need to go? I guess is my question. How do I get to where I need to go? Whoa, these sparks are absolute monsters. If I do that, does that protect me from sparks? This is, it might do actually. Let's see. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. Whoa! Ah! Oh, I understand. You have to hide from the sparks. Oh man, this is ah, oh, this is exciting. Great. Okay. So these are little places. These are passing places. Now I understand. Oh crikey! They're so fast. Ah. Oh. Wow, this is this is tough. This is a tough game. I really like it, but it's, it's very difficult to play. Ah! All right, should we try and go the other way? I need a fuse for it. Put a fuse back there. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of that spark. I might be okay. Yeah, I'm ahead of it, so I can probably make that path work. I put I a fuse in there, give me that spark. And get rid of that. Will the impulse go the right way? Great, so I can get an impulse going through that way. Like that. Oh, look at that expression. Amazing. Um, so I know that works, so that's really good. It's this other path that's an absolute nightmare because of the impulses that um, come through very frequently. Ah. So this is, I guess I would call this an action game. As much as a puzzle game, you've got to work out what to do, but you've also got to get your timings just right, haven't you? Um, which is not necessarily my forte, I'll be honest. So, I, I don't know... Um, I don't know how easy this is going to be. I think my impulse count kind of stays where it is as long as an impulse gets to the android. But if one is destroyed by a spark, I'm kind of ah, oh, I was super lucky the, f the first time I got around. It's really hard to navigate otherwise. Well, I'm glad my points don't really stick me up, let's say that. Right, and then hide. No! Oh, oh, it goes so it goes a lot faster forward than I'm indicating with my mouse, I feel. And that makes it quite tricky to control into uh, one of these these passing points. Then you have to wait for another one to turn up. Another the eye to open. So you can create a path again. So tricky. That's quite a cool hiding place. I are. Uh, hmm. I mean, you can almost do with two players just to do one side. So it's like somebody could be path creating and another person could be trying to swat off those <gasps> sparks, which come very quickly and close together. I wonder if they. Hang on, if I take that out. Do they not come out? This is a, a theory I'm going to test. No, they, they do definitely still come out. And at an incredible rate. Okay, 
Um, all right, I'm feeling a little bit, getting a little bit frustrated with it. It's quite challenging, but I'm gonna persevere, and we'll see if we can maybe do it. Ah. No. Tricky. Okay, let's wait for the eye to open. Is the eye gonna open? Yeah, I just think it's waiting for that impulse to get through. Uh, no, stay there. Is there a limit to the number of sparks that come through? I think there's not. As long as you're part of it, they're just gonna keep coming, aren't they? Ah. Sparkles you. Not my favorite. You're not my favorite. I have to say. Yeah. Um, so I guess while I'm hanging around here dodging sparks. I guess, uh, yeah, maybe we could talk a little bit about the game. I'm really taken with uh, its visual approach and how it uses sound and music uh, to tell quite an abstract story, I suppose, um, and how the gameplay is kind of an intrinsic part of this world, it's going really, why is it going so fast? That is much faster, surely. So it's for... Is there more expression going on? I can't really tell. Um, yeah, where was I? Um, so kind of, we're kind of, yeah, it's a good, I think it's good use of gameplay as uh, a storytelling and everything sort of working in the same direction. Uh, what what the gameplay is um, about making connections and kind of the, the pressures of it. So working against impulses, working against an AI, um, although not in this case. Um, kind of contributes to this this really interesting story about kind of the interactions between uh, human and machine intelligence in kind of a, a very simplified and abstract form. Ooh, I'm getting close to something, aren't I? <sighs> wow, I could almost make it. Well, the, the trick was not to concentrate, this is try and speak instead. Oh, I can't go there because of the... There was no... Oh, sorry, it just fell over. Uh, there was no <laughs> fuse in there. How disappointing. I'll put a fuse in there, shall I? Spark! Spark! Go away. Alright, I might be able to do it now. I think the sparks will still come to bother me. Yeah. Ah! I dodged that? I don't know. Let's see, let's think. Ooh, I don't know how I managed to do that. That was pretty, pretty nifty of me, I think. Oh man, I only just went and did it. You know what? We might actually do this level. That's very exciting. I've still got impulses. Oh, they're not going the right way. And there's no... Oh, no. No, we're not quite there yet, are we? There isn't a complete path. Holy moly. Um, ah. oh, I almost got away with that. Holy moly. Yeah, so, uh, I like the game, as I was saying before. Um, I think it's a really good... Uh, whoa meeting of uh, form and function in terms of what it's doing but I'm also finding I can't really take it all in while I'm playing it I have to concentrate on quite a narrow task at a time like making this path um, 
And I'm not really looking at what the face is doing or what's going on on the other side um, when the AI is playing too. Um, so it's kind of I'm not sure. It's you're not getting wrong quite the full experience of the game while playing the game, which is kind of an interesting drawback from how it works. don't get it just pinpoint accurate. You are in trouble. Well, that's quite a good hiding place. Um, I don't mean, whew, can I just make it to that? Okay. Nice. There, perfect. Great, so now it should actually work. Yeah, I think this is I think this is done it. Wow, I can't believe I actually did it. Amazing. <laughs> I love the range of expression now I can um, start to appreciate them. Fab. Okay, I wonder what level four will be. Cry of love, this looks incredibly complex. Okay, let's just start making paths and see what happens. Okay, so we need to make three three little entrances at the bottom. Oh, this is really hard to control, this path, because the corners are so tight. Okay, so we've got a little bit, oh, there's lots of little mazes and things. Okay, right, I made that spiral, so some, an impulse can get that far, and then... Okay, I think I've made... Oh, there's like... Oh, the interface with the Android gets more sophisticated and kind of more brain-like. Each... Each time um, we iterate on this, that's really interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I've made some useful path there. I don't know how I'm going to make this middle path because that's quite a way away from any. Oh, well, there's a middle eye here. What does this eye do? Where does it go to? That kind of makes the middle path. Okay. I have to be devilishly quick to get there. Okay, no, that, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Um, ooh, there's a splitter as well. Is that helpful? It might be, I suppose. Um, if I go this way, are you sure? Let's just, just do it. Let's go that way. I'll worry about fuses later again, I think. Whoa, I'm caught up in a maze. So is this just a dead end? Hmm? Oh no, it's, it's like a maze, isn't it? I can kind of lose the sparks in there, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so it's a bit like the... Um... Ooh, almost. Destroy these horrible gates. I'll try and make another one of these and go this way. Oh, I can't go up that way. Okay, that's fine. Let's try it again. So I'm definitely ha having trouble accessing these higher paths, which um, might might be thematic. Oh, look at the face. Cry of love. Oh, 
Blinking sparks, right? Not helpful for anyone. Okay, I'm gonna advance the spark, which is great because that means I can create a path there. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, so I've created some useful things. How do I get right, how do I get the impulses to go to various places? I think the one that starts off on the right most can never go somewhere useful, I'm not sure. Let's see what happens to the next one. Will it go up this time? No, it won't. So that will never go up. So that's not useful to us. That would be. Um, so I need to get the middle one to the splitter. I need to get the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Great. I love that music. It's almost singing, isn't it now? Great. Okay, I think we're doing relatively well. Great, so I've got two two of the sparks going. I think. We just need to get that. Third one there too. Yeah, I think it will do it. I think this could be it. This could be it, folks. Wow, that was R3976. Ah, so that's our code for the next level. And we caught that. 3976, write it down. So that's our code to get to the next level. We'll just have a peek at it, but I think this is a really good time to, to stop for the stream for today. Um, and stop um, Ecstas as well. Is it somewhere we can jump in later? Ooh, look at the uh, interface on the brain there. Mystic Crisis. So we'll come back to... Oh, I love this music. Let's just enjoy the look at this. Any, so is there, is there any new compo components? Just the gates and the splitters that we've seen before. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that um, next time, I think. I got, well, today, I got a lot further with um, both Mystery House, Complete Mystery House, and got four levels into, um, what are we playing? Excess. <laughs> got four levels into Excess um, as well. So, uh, really happy with today's stream. I think we achieved a lot. So let's leave that exciting music playing for a sec. Um, let me know how it all was for you. Um, and if you're watching the video on demand um, and you've got any feedback, oh, I never changed the browser, I never changed the stream title. Disappointing. Should have changed the stream the game title. Never mind, too late now. Um, if you're watching On Demand, thank you very much for catching up with the, the streams and um, feel free to, to join us. Um, look in the usual places, so you can check my Twitter, you can go to um, my YouTube channel, that's linked from this page, um, uh, or you might be watching it on YouTube, um, or twitch.tv forward slash cat sequences for the streams, um, I'll schedule things on there. I don't think Thursday will be a regular thing. I'll, I'll try to go back to Wednesday if I can. Um, but check check all those places to, to find out the latest details. Um, thanks very much for joining me. And hopefully see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.